Oh, it changes the bubble too. Oh, okay. Also changes the exterior of the dome. Hamster, how's it going, buddy? Long time no see. Right, so that's it in its current one. Oh. Hmm. I do like it with the sort of... Thunderdome, metal, exterior, cage thing. It's like something from Mad Max. I like that. That's good. Uh, research to breakthrough. Okay, that's good. I don't know what that does. It does not give us money when we research breakthroughs. I'm pretty sure it does. Let's get our passenger rocket now. Uh, so, right, you were telling me this customization. Passenger rocket will deliver colonists and a minimal food supply to Mars. Use review to inspect the traits of arrivals. Oh, Jesus, this is like fucking... I've been so hooked on this game. Nice. Any tips, any pointers? No spoilers, but any tips and pointers would be much appreciated. I am learning. Oh, you only get half resources back if you deconstruct something. Drones will fix it if they have the materials. That's what I'm worried about, the um, the mechanical parts, whatever. We don't have any. Well, the thing, that I'm, the thing that I'm researching, or I've just finished... Hold on, hold on. Let me just check something. Right, I did a research for this. Forever young, seniors can work and have children. The golden years have officially been postponed indefinitely as a recent breakthrough has finally unlocked the fountain of youth. Every man and woman on Mars now has the ability to remain within their most productive and fertile age forever. So I got this early because I thought this would help us when we start getting people. Like this is what we just got a minute ago. I've had, I've had this in my research list for a long time. So this should be a good one, right? You can micromanage the colonists for this game, or you can say, just give me all the colonists. If I prefer the people with thumbs up. Oh, so just no kids. Okay, fucking banning children. Age group. Middle-aged. So thumbs down. Maybe we should just get all the old people. Applicants with more of the desired traits will board the rocket. What? What? Let's get all old people and, and adults. There'll be no ball bags here. That's great. That's a gem never seen before. Nothing, nothing is worse than a wave when a wave of your population gets too fucking old to work and they just sit there with their thumbs up their ass. Well, I'm hoping this will bring in a load of seniors and they'll get on Mars and be like, "All right, boys, let's crack on." I'm hoping that will work. Uh, check the filter numbers up top. Filter numbers. Where? Filter numbers. Nice. Geriatric dome. Indeed. It'd be like something from fucking what's that film? What's that film where they all go in the pods and they get they get rejuvenated? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's on the fucking it, it's in it's in my brain, but it's bouncing around. Oh there's like a swimming pool scene and all these old people are in the pods. What the fuck is that film called? Somebody help me. Oh, it's a late 80s film. Someone must know. Uh, I had to build domes that just deal with old people. Because my industrial ones uh, would fucking break down. Because <laughs> old people just live there. So, a good tip. Cocoon! The Stolt Man. That's the one. Cocoon. Loads of old people and they start getting all their, their vigour. Their vigour back. Ah. We seniors much prefer floating casinos on Mars with blackjack and hookers. Yeah, it's better, easier on the joints, isn't it? You said something about clicking a filter. You can review individuals. Is that on this thing you mean? Oh. Valeria Bersha. Lazy.
Oh, I see. So we can literally cherry pick everything. Fit. More health recovered while resting. Can work when health is low. Party animal. Gains additional comfort when satisfying social interests. So we need plus social. Jesus. Karina Schultz. Higher individual base morale. Low sanity. Never leads to suicide. <laughs> There's suicide in this game. What? I want some research, dudes. That's what I want. Lazy. Fuck you. I want some scientists. Vegan, don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, loses less health without food, water, oxygen, or when living in an unpowered dome. Survivor. Again, not sure if that's in bad taste. Is it just me, or is... That's, that's bad taste, isn't it? Flowing casinos on Venus. First couple of passenger rockets enable dislike for all floors until there's no one. Right. Filter out the floors in the other page. This will take too long. What are you fucking talking about? Oh, okay. Um, hypochondriac, no. Whiner, no. Melancholic, meh. Grow up. Loner, fine. Coward, no. Perfect. Lazy, no. Chronic condition. Loses health each day. Fuck off. Idiot. Can cause malfunction at workplace. Oh, Jesus. No idiots, period. Idiots are the worst. Literally as I'm reading it. You have to do thumbs up, just don't mark it. Okay. Um, work performance lowered by 10 can be caused by sanity breakdowns. Applicants with more of the desired traits will board the rocket. Oh, that's a lot of alcoholics though, isn't there? Gamblers, 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when... Can be caused by sanity breakdowns. A 50% chance to lose 20 sanity. Does he ever win 20 sanity? Was that the joke? Should I just press no to all of these? I mean... I'm quickly running out of colonists. I've got 42 still. I mean, are any of these good? This is comfort every day while living in a dome with population over 30. Well, I only want... How many colonists do I want at the minute? Isn't it like... Tw uh, 24? 48? How many do I want at the minute? No to all, for fuck's sake. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know if it was if it was positive and negative. Like, maybe it balanced out by, yeah, he's an alcoholic, but he's really good with a hammer. Or, you know, yeah, he's a gambler, but holy shit, does he, you know, buy a lot of cheap beans in the supermarket? I don't know. <sighs> for fuck's sake. You have room for 24. Right, okay. Quirks. Uh. Doesn't work. Leaves at the first opportunity, but will decide to stay if comfort is high. Plus gambling. No vegans. No no tourists. Perfect. Perfect. So now what do I do? Sex. Yes. Oh. Yes. No others. Um. I had. <laughs> oh, shit. You want. Wait, that's it. You have room for 24. The rocket only carries 12. The rocket only carries 12. Ah, oh, what? I've got to do two rockets. Rocket capacity 12. Available residences on Mars is 28. Oh, okay. All right, we'll take vegans, but I'm not happy about it. Specialization. Okay, so you were saying I want some, I probably want some research, dude, surely. Yeah? What are you saying? You want, wait, you, you want biologists, medics, geologists. Geologists, scientists, 
botanists. Oh, so I can I can get my crops going in farms. Well, you're saying geologists, medics. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do that. I don't care about security. Engineer trained to work in factories. Okay, do I just press launch now? Are we done? Oh, you fucking jerk. Okay, we're fine. No scientists, they're too expensive to make happy, but I wanted the research. What do they need to make happy? Gaming. Plus gaming, <laughs> no shopping. <laughs> what? Just do one rocket for now, you need to pass the 10 day test. I don't even understand what the 10 day test is. I did it. We've got a rocket coming. You still gotta pick 12, what? I thought you'd do it for me. 12 past, I thought you'd do it for me. Pipe leak reported. Sector scanned. You won't be able to get more rockets of people for 10 days. Don't kill anyone. Oh, well now you're asking a lot. Oh, look how pretty this looks at night. Um, I mean, at the moment, I don't really have any food for them, do I? Can I put a stockpile in here for food? Does that, is that a thing? Hello? No? No stockpile? Uh, food. Delicious. Okay. Uh, what are we researching at the minute? Oh, we're doing the hubs, aren't we? Robotics. Drone hubs. Okay. Okay. What's this? How are you? Fuck off as soon as you're ready. They won't eat raw food. Oh, well, I don't have any room left now. I've filled it with parks and swimming pools. Son of a bitch. Uh, a space bar? A diner? Diner? Yeah, a little diner, maybe? Hmm? Perfect. Oh, I did fill it with swimming pools, though. Holy shit, so you could filter which, which people go and which don't. Ah, I see now. So that's how you pander to their traits and quirks and needs and demands and obsessions and other such things. Interesting. A grocer or diner? They'll eat food, but it'll piss them off. Oh, I thought this was just a nice little calm base building game. I didn't realize I had to worry about people's emotions and feelings and other such disgusting things of which I care little about. What the fuck? I'm just excited to get somebody working in this. Truth be told. Building's not working. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're broken. Can you be repaired? Oh. Do I have any of those parts anymore? I don't think I've got any machine parts Sector left. Scanned. Anomaly found. Uh. Okay, here's the deal. I think I used all my machine parts, and now I can't, I can't, I can't fix my, I can't, I can't do this. Okay, let's have a quick look at the old research. How to make machine parts. Machine parts. 3,000 research, no problem. Outsource, go, fuck. Anomaly, please give me machine parts. Where is my rover? Uh, I've got one charging down here, where's the other dude? Uh, you, yeah, explorer dude, come up here. Hmm. Let's go faster. 
My passengers should be coming soon, just in time for me to run out of water. Hooray. I'll need another resupply rocket. Well, the only problem with that idea is that currently, currently the rocket is here. Do I need to buy another rocket? Is that what you're telling me? Buy a rocket. Yep. Okay. I bought a rocket. I now got three rockets. Give me a cargo rocket. Oh god, I'm using all my money. Oh no. I should probably make it worth my while, shouldn't I? Should I get some polymers and stuff as well? Oh god. Oh Jesus. I don't have any money. Should have sorted. You should have stored water. I did store water. I stored three things of water. That's definitely easier than me buying loads of machine parts, isn't it? I'll buy a prefab for a machine parts factory. That's what we'll do, and then we'll not buy thirty of these because that would be dumb as hell. Um, can we buy a prefab for an electronics factory as well? That might be very nice. No, fuck. Okay. No, don't buy a rocket. You have to. I bought one. You can get factories from the prefab buildings. I did that. You'll need another dome. Why? You probably still want the part. It takes them a bit to develop them. Yeah, I'm still getting some. I'm still getting some so that I can repair my stuff, but then I'm going to start making them. That's the plan. I'm doing it, all right? I did it. You have no room in your dome. Wait, 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 I can do another dome. I'll do a fucking another dome all day long. Basic bitch dome. Do the domes transfer water as well? Or is it just power? They transfer water, I don't mind putting them there. And air. Well, that's a point. These these pipes are water and air, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Um, well, fuck. Let's send this bastard home. Are you nearly ready? Go home. He's nearly ready. I'd love to be able to get some exports, though, before I send this one back. And get some cash money. Because we'll be able to get some sexy metals and stuff, won't we? And then we can get some sexy... This. Breakthrough discovered. Uh, passengers on board will die if the rocket doesn't land. What? Oh, yeah. Uh... Perfect. Allows drone prefabs to be constructed in the drone assembler using metals instead of electronics. Okay. That sounds good. I think we're juggling too many things for you now. I'll keep quiet. I just don't have a clue what's going on. Determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. All right. Okay. So the next 10 days will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now for us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. Jeez. Arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life. Ha! 
Your founder colonists must survive for 10 souls before additional people can arrive. The company will be evaluated positively, uh, sorry, the colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends. In the event the first human is born on Mars. Oh. If you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with service buildings. Is this what you're talking about? Getting a... Tiny people! Ha! Ah! They're just running out the ship. That is funny. New colonists have arrived. That is great. Okay. So. Okay. In fact, let's do a little save game. I don't think we've saved this yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, bid to bid 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 do bidopia bid bidopia bidopia. Mars Gingers Welcome Kiss Okay How do I do jobs? We started doing leaf crops Get that That's so Wait what? Only from the pipe points Okay Machine part factories and electronic factories go inside domes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Thank you, Hanno. I did not know that at all. Um, wait. Wonder dome. Land about six tiles away from buildings to avoid deteriorating them. Fuck! <laughs> I landed right next to it. Uh, look at them in their homes. Animations are great. I love zooming in on them. You dirty voyeur. Oh my goodness. Where are they? Let's have a quick nosy. Hello? Is anyone in their home yet? Oh shit, yeah. You sleeping on the couch. Oh, we're now getting to fucking Sims level of, level of gameplay, aren't we? Right. Um, you mentioned something about jobs earlier. Oh, it's automatic. Hold alt and spin. You can do it with the mouse wheel, can't you? Mm -hmm. oh. oh. She's so lonely. It's a bit weird that they don't have curtains or blinds or anything. They're all just... All just... Very visible to the world. Um, okay. So you say it's automatic for the jobs and stuff. So what crop should I grow then? At the moment they're making leaf crops. Water consumption, optimal harvest, oxygen production. Oh, okay. So maybe maybe we'll do one leaf crop and then something else. Wheatgrass. Microgreens. So this consumes less water. Grows in the same time. It's less food. Low yield and slow growth, but requires less water. Or can each one do three crops? Low yield, but grows very fast. And is, is this all just food? Um, can I post a link that will help you big time to understand the resources? Of course you can, Hamster, yeah. Uh, always, mate. You can go right, right in beside them. Hashtag creepy. Go for the most food. <laughs> she won't be lonely for long. They'll be banging away in no time. <laughs> uh, or less water because someone has no water. Right? Oh, you can do work shifts... Where? Right. I'm, I'm going to do one of each. And this one is going to be all... All leaf crops. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Not farmers. They only get one shift. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Okay. Oh, jeez. We can manage everything. 
they've all gone to work. Oh, I see what you mean now. Toggle overtime. Inactive work shift, was. Oh, with negative power at night. What's going on here? Malfunctions. Oh, we need more machine parts. Right, that's something I need to do, is it, straight away. How, where is... Where is build machine parts place? I got a free factory, didn't I? Is it on its way? Go home. Yeah, it's on its way, isn't it? Who's she? A train button, a stream of a green mouse. Resting. Why? Why? Colonists have several basic stats. You can monitor the condition of each colonist in their info panel to maintain your colonist's good health. You need to provide them with water, oxygen, food, and access to operational service buildings. I don't even know what that is. Why are you here? Go away. Ida Erickson. You landed too close and blew dirt all over everything. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Can I clean that? Look at my little fountains. Oh, piss. 